Hi, it's your old pal, Life the Impaler. Life the Impaler Adventure Pass. Lulu Dallas Multi Pass. Adventure Pass. Multi Pass. Adventure Pass. Sparks happen. Yeah, she knows it's a multi pass. Yeah, anyway, we're in love. Well, the Adventure Road and the Adventure Pass have been out for a week now, and the burning question that's still being discussed is whether or not the Adventure Pass is worth $20. Let's get into it. I'm not going to get into the mechanics of the Adventure Road because it's pretty straightforward. It's still in beta and Illusion Weaver is already talking about changes. But if you haven't had a chance to check out the Adventure Road or you're new to Coin Hunt World, here's a quick introduction. The Adventure Road has a tier for every day of the month. So in November, we have 30 tiers. Each tier has a reward and some rewards are better than others. The rewards range from blue paint, the most abundant resource in the game, to more rare resources like dragon scales and ectoplasm. There's a column of rewards for everybody, and then there's a second column of rewards for people that purchase the Adventure Pass. To claim the rewards for each tier, you need to earn 300 points per tier, and there are two ways to earn points. Option one is to complete some or all of the daily challenges. There are three challenges each day. An easy challenge, like forging a green key, a medium difficulty challenge, like solving 15 vaults, and a very difficult challenge, like completing all eight walking quests. And we've already learned that occasionally the very difficult challenge is essentially impossible, like, like printing a damn fire dragon QB. If you can't complete one or more of the challenges, there's always option two for earning points, solving vaults. You get four points for solving a vault if you buy the Adventure Pass, and you get two points for solving a vault if you don't buy the Adventure Pass. It doesn't matter if it's a system vault or a user vault, and the points are not dynamic like leaderboard points. So if you buy the Adventure Pass and don't complete one of the daily challenges, you can make up those 100 points by solving 25 vaults. Without the Adventure Pass, if you miss a daily challenge, in order to earn those 100 points, you would need to solve 50 vaults. For now, you don't get extra Adventure Road points for solving green and yellow vaults. It's just the same four and two points, but that may change, so stay tuned. If you're a hardcore hunter, you may find that you're already several tiers ahead of the day of the month based on vault points alone, and you'll finish the Adventure Road early. Hell, there was a hippie headquarter blueprint in the auction house on the third day of the month. That thing drops at tier 20. So, is the Adventure Pass worth $20? The quick answer is yes, and here's why. In theory, if everything goes perfect for you, $20 is the equivalent of two yellow keys or 200 blue keys. If you scan the Adventure Pass side of the Adventure Road and start calculating how much you'd pay in the auction house for the resources you'll receive, not to mention that blueprint that's waiting at the end of the Adventure Pass, you'll easily get more than 200 blue keys worth of stuff. I mean, look at this. You'll have more than 200 blue keys worth of resources in less than half a month. And how about the people playing Coin Hunt World just for the crypto? Those people may be thinking pouring money back into the game is ridiculous, but slow your roll, crypto people. If you're really into the game just for the crypto, you're going to need keys to get that crypto. Spend a few minutes on the Coin Hunt World Wiki calculating how much you could sell those extra resources and items for, and then calculate how much crypto you could get with those extra keys. Unless you have some really bad luck in the auction house, I think you'll find that you'll have a lot more than 200 blue keys after you sell those additional items from the Adventure Pass in the auction house. That QB blueprint at the end of the Adventure Pass alone should go for more than 200 keys. And look at this hippie headquarters blueprint. It's at 1,600 keys. Not everyone can play the game for a couple hours every single day. Some people, for example, might have a recurring foot injury from playing the game too hard and they have to take weeks off at a time to heal. Is the Adventure Pass still worth it for those people? The answer is probably. Even if you never leave your couch, you should be able to complete one and maybe even two of those daily challenges each day. At that rate, you should be able to get through at least 10 tiers by the end of the month without solving a single vault. And look at the Adventure Pass rewards for the first 10 tiers of this month. Even that small number of rewards should be worth the equivalent of 200 blue keys. The rewards will change from month to month, of course, but hopefully those first 10 tiers will remain lucrative. Again, the Adventure Road and the Adventure Pass are still in beta, so things will likely change in the next few months. So even if you almost never play the game, as long as there's at least one easy challenge per day and the points for solving vaults don't get nerfed, you should easily be able to make it through 10 tiers by the end of the month.
I've seen some people are concerned that with all these people picking up extra resources on the adventure road that it will make these resources less valuable. I think if there's any effect at all it'll be minor. Most of these resources are dropping in such small quantities I don't see how it could possibly affect the market that much. So I've convinced you of its value and now you would like to buy the adventure pass. Here's how you do that. First you go into the in-game shop and you buy crystal keys. You can use your in-game balance of crypto, assuming you have at least $20 in there, or you can buy it with fiat money through the Google Play Store. And before you ask, no, you cannot buy or sell crystal keys in the auction house. Womp womp. Once you have your crystal keys, you go into the adventure road and you'll see a little button at the bottom that says unlock the adventure pass. Once you do that, you are ready to go. And that's about all we know about the Adventure Pass and the Adventure Road for the moment. I'll say it one last time, changes are likely and they're probably coming soon. Illusion Weaver is already talking about increasing the number of daily challenges to six so that newer players that don't have as many blueprints and QBs still have a fighting chance at finishing the Adventure Road. What I'm trying to say is all the information in this video could be outdated by Christmas. Thumbs up. As always, please like and subscribe, and if you're new to Coin Hunt World and you haven't reached level 3 with your headquarters yet, consider using my referral code. Doing so will get free loot for both you and me.